Hello, game design students. Hope everybody's doing well. Welcome back to this uh, part two of using a controller in Construct 3. Um, in the first video, we set up a little scene here with our tiled background, kind of a space looking thing. We added in a sprite, we gave it a few behaviors, and we went in and set up some um, events on our event sheet to create movement, right? So we could steer our ship around using the analog stick on our controller. If you haven't seen that video, I recommend you go back and follow those steps to get to where we are now. <clears throat> In this video, the idea is we're going to use um, some more sprites and some events. There's a bell going on here at the school. <laughs> okay, we'll wait till that passes there. Um, we're gonna use some more sprites and some more events um, to be able to uh, shoot a projectile or like a little laser type thing out of our spaceship using buttons on the controller. So the first thing we need to do is go back to our layout. Okay, and we're gonna actually zoom out and we're gonna double click and we're gonna insert a new sprite. So I can search sprite here or I can find it in the menu. I find it's a little faster to just search it every time when I know what I want. Um, and I'm gonna double click sprite. I'm gonna go over here. I'm actually gonna place it outside the layout and that'll make sense here in a little bit. Um, I'm going to resize my sprite and I'm actually gonna click this keep aspect ratio and I'm gonna turn it down pretty small um, because I actually want it to be a rectangle instead of a perfect square also. Our uh, ship sprite is 50 pixels by 50 pixels. So my idea for the um, laser is to make it five by 15. Okay, and it gives us this really small um, thing here. I'm actually gonna resize that. Let's make it just a touch bigger. Let's go 10 by 25, okay? Just make it a little easier to see. And that's really personal preference. It's up to you, whatever you wanna make it. We don't need to mess with any collision polygons or image points. We're actually just gonna take this, and I like to make my laser this kind of bright green color. I'm just gonna dunk that whole thing there green. I'm gonna exit out, and it's actually gonna insert my laser right up here. Okay, I need to add a couple of behaviors to this. So one thing, I don't wanna leave it named Sprite. I want to rename it, and I'm just gonna rename it Laser. Okay, um, but we gotta make sure we're renaming everything. I'm never too worried about the background because you usually only have one tiled background. Um, but your player sprites, laser sprites, you need to rename those to good names because it makes your event sheet way less complicated. Okay, now adding behaviors to this laser. Let's find our behaviors over in our left column, our properties column. Click behaviors and we're gonna add a couple of new behaviors, at least. The first one we're gonna add is destroy outside layout. Okay, so we're gonna add that. Now you might be saying, wait, our laser is starting outside the layout, won't that destroy it? Yes, it will destroy that instance of the sprite, but we're gonna create other instances by using a spawn command in the event sheet. Add another behavior. This next behavior we're gonna add is a movement and it's bullet movement. Okay. So those are our two behaviors, destroy outside layout, bullet movement. Now one thing I wanna change right away on bullet movement is I wanna turn this speed way up. I don't know why the bullet speed is always super slow, but I'm gonna change it from 400 to about 2000, okay? Now, if I start up my program here, my game, You'll notice there's no laser to be seen and I can try and fly my ship all the way up there to the top. I'm bound to the layout so there's nothing I can do. That laser has actually already been destroyed because it spawned outside the layout. What we need to do at this point is go to our event sheet and we need to add in a new event. So we're gonna add event and we're gonna go to gamepad and we're gonna go to on button pressed. Okay, and the button we want that I personally like for firing uh, a laser or some type of projectile is the right shoulder trigger. And so we have left and right shoulders and we have the buttons which are typically the top and the triggers which are typically the bottom. And I wanna use the right shoulder trigger, okay, on gamepad zero, that's our default gamepad. Click done. And what I want this to do, okay, is I want to go actually to my player, um, on here, uh, my player sprite, and I wanna search spawn, and I wanna spawn another object. That object I wanna spawn is laser on layer one. The reason I want it on layer one is so that it stays on the player layer, not the background layer. And I wanna spawn it at image point one. If you remember from the first video, 
right? We set up our sprite, our player sprite, and we created an image point right at the very nose of the triangle, right? This was so we could spawn our laser right at that image point. So I'm gonna click done, and I'm going to start up my game now. And just like before, my game was working just fine, but watch what happens when I hit the trigger. Boom. I can shoot a laser. Okay. And there it is. Okay. I can shoot my laser. I can fly around. I can push the trigger a lot faster. The only issue right now is when I hold it down, I'm only getting one. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Now, there are some ways to work around that. And that is something that we'll probably talk about in another video. If you want to add some more things, um, some options you have are to create some other types of projectiles that your, um, your spaceship could shoot and add them to other buttons, right? You could add one to the left trigger, to the right button, and the bumper. Um, in some future videos, some things we might touch on is how to work with holding down a button, okay? How could we change the speed of the... Um, of the ship, if we're holding down a button, could we add some sort of a boost system? Okay, there's a lot of great options to do um, when you have a controller. Uh, and even if you don't have a controller and you're doing these things on the keyboard, that's totally fine. Um, some, some really cool ideas for games. Now obviously, okay, one thing to think about, we're not using any real assets. We're just kind of prototyping a game with just quick little drawings. Um, but you could easily make a game that looks really cool um, by just finding some, some free assets online or even creating your own. Um, so I hope this video has been helpful. Stay tuned for some more videos kind of in this series of using the controller and adding more things to this space uh, type game here. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.